Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Disney Legacy Challenge. And we're here with Tiana and Aurora and our infant, the new infant in our family. This is the third child. We adopted Liam last episode and we did that so that now Aurora down here is our middle child. So she's out playing in the snow to kind of cheer herself up because she's not really handling the news too well. She has been sad since she was introduced to her baby brother. So she's really struggling. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, the complete opposite, we have Austin down here who is going to make friends. And Austin is our independent, sociable, he's a child, but I think he's aging up this episode. Yeah, he's aging up to a teen. He'll be aging up to a teen. And I think I'm gonna try to get Aurora to age up today as well. I think that would be really fun. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Just as I said that, Aurora is freezing to death. Oh my God, Aurora, come inside. What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on? Why is she flying? That's not the kind of Disney story we're going for today. I'm gonna have to teleport her because I do not want her to die. That was horrible. Also, really great suggestion on my last video from Holly, and that is to have Aurora excel in as many different skills as possible that she is trapped in this house. So we are gonna work on her music skill. Let's get her to clean up first. We'll get her to work on her music skill and she can work on chess. She can also work on some cooking. She's already at a level six of creativity, which is impressive. And one piano, but we'll get that up by the time that she's a teen. Meanwhile, we have Austin back here collecting his badges. He is doing some house cleaning and then I wanna check the progress. But Tiana here is exhausted from taking care of little Liam all day. So that's, you know, that's gonna be her life for the next couple of days, weeks. Okay, so we have sociability is the next one that we can get and maybe good deeds take out the trash help someone with their homework we can do that take out the trash or help with homework oh my god definitely take out the trash yay we just earned another badge you are my favorite <gasps> cute i like that austin and sydney i imagine have a really strong bond a really close relationship tiana is obviously preoccupied with liam and that leaves aurora kind of somewhere in the middle <gasps> Oh my God, Aurora's been playing piano for hours. She's now got to a level nine creativity. No, I don't think you're gonna do some chess though. I think Aurora, we should send you to bed. You have been playing for all, pretty much all day. Meanwhile, Austin here telling Sydney that he's his favorite parent. Tiana's gonna be here doing some tummy time with Liam at 3.15 a.m. in the morning, very normal. So it is 8 a.m. Aurora is going to attend her online schooling, interactive lecture, and Austin is, Austin's chatting to some kids in a kid's chat room and now he's going to be late for school. Oh, look at Aurora here, just in class, in her bedroom. She spends a lot of time in this room, to be honest. At least it's cute. So I love the idea of Aurora meeting her future partner through her interactive lessons. So school portal, meet classmates. Here we go. We can actually meet classmates through here. So I think it could be kind of cute that she meets her future partner who is also being homeschooled over here. Maybe they're exchanging notes on, on class or something. Is there any rules actually about who our partner is going to be? All right, it just says may have three or fewer friends. Can family can count if you wish. Well, we have more than three in the family, so I'm just gonna do three friends. But I, in fact, I might just try to keep it to one. Must meet future spouse at night while parents are asleep. Oh, must meet future spouse at night while parents are asleep. Okay, no, then I think what we're gonna do is when we're a teen, we're going to sneak out and then we're gonna eventually elope and run away from the house. <gasps> Exciting! Okay, we're gonna do that. But does that mean we start with no money? That might mean that we start with only the money of our partner. Oh my God, why are we always poor? <laughs> in this game. Okay, we're not gonna meet anyone, but we are going to work on our skills again. Well, we're gonna get prepared because it is Austin's birthday today to turn into a teen. So let's bake a cake and we can have a little birthday dinner when he gets home. It seems, I feel like Austin would love the blue confetti cake. He definitely seems like that type of person. Should Austin invite over a classmate Larissa? Does Austin wanna spend his birthday with someone? Oh wait, that's kind of cute. Do we have a crush on Larissa? Maybe we should explore that. Okay, I was just gonna have Tiana bake, but no, let's Let's meet Larissa. So let's do, we gotta do a little bit of a vetting process with, with Larissa. Oh, meanwhile, take the trash. Oh, I love what Larissa's wearing. Where is that outfit from? I've never seen that. Looks like maybe it could be with Snowy Escape. Okay, let's do it. We did a polite introduction. Let's get to know her a little bit. Sydney is also, as the protective dad, would also be super, super curious. Ask about school. Look at 
Austin getting all shy back there. Look at him. He's like, mom, dad. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've just realized who she is. Oh my God. I just realized when I hovered over, it said it's gone now, but it said the option for family kiss. I was like, family kiss. Where does that come from? Larissa is Larissa Price, Sydney Price. I think they're cousins. Oh my God, I can't keep up with this family tree. They are! Larissa Price is Sydney's half-sister. <laughs> oh God. Wait, I don't know what that means. I don't know like what the connection then is to, they're, they are related though. They're somehow like maybe second cousins. I don't know. Either way, we're not gonna go there. We are just going to get out this birthday cake and we're gonna age up Austin. Happy birthday, Austin. Happy birthday. You're we're now a teen. Okay, so we have, we are self-assured and our bonus one is going to be, considering we're gonna be taking over the restaurant, I wanna do maybe a foodie. Actually, that makes sense. Let's do foodie. Foodie, foodie's a good one for the restaurant. And I think he is, maybe we could say that he follows along like Tiana's legacy and then Zion's legacy. So let's do food. Is that eyeliner? Oh my God, I thought he was an alien. <laughs> I thought he was an alien and I was like, oh God, wait, all this time is, um, was Sydney an alien and I didn't realize? We will give him a little makeover. I'll be a couple seconds. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a, of a, we're gonna give him a, a personality and give him a character and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I've just done Austin and given him loads of really cool looks. Let me just show you an, an overview. I love the menswear clothing now. So much variety, high school years added loads. The kits are adding quite a few fun ones too. Oh my God, look at that. Already taking a selfie. Um, but yeah, look how cool that outfit is. Right, Austin. Tuck away, you time to call to meal. Everyone enjoy a slice of cake. So I guess we gotta figure out now what Austin's career path is. So we know it's gonna be food. We know it's gonna be culinary related. He's gonna eventually take over the restaurant. It would be kind of cool to find him a partner and get him nice and set settled uh, so that we can then focus on Aurora for the next gen. So we can see which one of his friends are aging up. Oh, well, I guess we'll meet people when we go to high school tomorrow. So let's just wait till we go to high school and then find him a partner maybe I don't want to go to high school with him but maybe we can get him a part-time job or something that could be good let's actually do that now select a career for Austin babysitter barista fast food employee lifeguard manual labor retail employee influencer video game streamer cheer team chess team computer team drama club football team I think barista because I think he will learn service skills I mean fast food employee could also be useful barista pays way more 41 versus 18 so let's do barista and it's a weekend job Doing a little bit of cooking together, super cute. Learning how to make a fruit bowl. Oh, this is cute. Aurora stepping up on her stool, doing a little bit of cooking with mom. Okay, Austin's about to go to bed, but something super important that I learned from Tiana, to get the clean skin and clear skin, you need to apply the facial cleanser and do that semi-regularly. So, oh, no, wrong thing. Yeah, I can't forget to do that. Oh, we could give, oh, did you see his pajamas? We could give Austin's room a little bit of a teen makeover, but I kind of like it as it is, to be honest. Maybe change the bedding, maybe delete some of the crafts and things. But then when Liam ages up, Liam is actually gonna move in with Aurora. She's gonna have to share her room. Oh, look at Austin here with Liam. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, a little bonding. Oh, I don't know why they're all having a little bit of a bonding in the parents' bedroom. Are they drinking? It's 7.50 a.m. Hang on, where did you get those drinks from? <laughs> oh my God, wait, this is the funniest thing. I'm so confused. Drink. Drink what? Where did you get those drinks from? That is hilarious. I was thinking it was a bit strange that the whole family was in here. Wow, okay. I mean, it is New Year's Eve. I will, I will give them credit. Okay, really exciting. So it's now Monday morning, 9 a.m. We have Aurora here who is obviously gonna work from, uh, go to school from home, but it just got a notification that she has a loose tooth. This is actually my first time playing with this kind of interaction. So we can either pull it out or wiggle. Let's see what it looks like to wiggle it. That's so cute. Uh, okay, keep wiggling it. Meanwhile, Austin here is at high school and I'm gonna have him make friends. Um, we'll eventually get him to get like straight A's and do all the extra credit, but I definitely want him to start meeting people. Okay, she's gonna pull it out. Let's see what that looks like. Aurora lost her loose tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix, mix, mix, 
fix missing tooth. Oh no, we have a tooth fairy certificate. That is so cute. We have a little tooth fairy certificate somewhere here. There you go. She's getting she's getting a moodlet down here saying outshine from watching siblings milestone. That's so interesting. She definitely is noticing all of these milestones that Liam is hitting. Although I don't know why she is because look at all of the skills I was able to work on over the weekend. Bowling, pipe organ, singing, photography, logic, charisma, violin, and piano are her two specialties, mischief, and media production. So she's, she's like got her fingers in lots of different pies, but I love that story. I think that's exactly what we're gonna, gonna try to go with. Ooh, okay, so whilst Austin was at school, he met Avery, Cassandra, and Sanvi, and Anahi. <gasps> okay, we have four friends. So I think we should maybe invite them over. We're gonna see which of those relationship bars increases over time, uh, and then pursue that person as his partner. Oh, oh my God, I just realized it's Aurora's birthday today. Oops. Also down here, you can see her missing a tooth, but it's so cute. I don't know if we can see it, if she smiles. But oh my god, don't let me forget Aurora's birthday. I'm so excited to get Aurora into cast and give her a, um, a an Aurora makeover. So let's quickly age her up at 4 a.m. before everyone before everyone goes to work or school. Wait, we just lost another friend. It's hard to see someone go. Tiana can find some comfort. Oh my god, who just passed away? Kevin! Kevin just passed away. Oh my God. Kevin wasn't even an elder. He was an adult. How? I wonder how. We had some good times with Kevin. We really did. Aurora, our Gen 4. Happy birthday. Oh my God. She's sick on her birthday. She's aging up. Yay. Okay. She also has a bonus trait, but we are sticking with the lazy. We are sticking with the lazy. That's part of the rules. So what traits should we give Aurora? You know what? I'm going to give her the cheerful trait because she's always happy and smiley. I was torn between that or creative, but I think I might do creativity as our aspiration. Hi, Aurora, welcome, well, not welcome to the world. Okay, let's quickly hop into Cass and give her a makeover. I'm gonna get some inspo pictures and we're gonna have fun with this. Okay, so we're gonna make Aurora super angelic and light pastel pinks and blues. So let's filter by colors, uh, not red pink and blue. And I'm thinking a dress for her every day could be super cute even. No, okay, let me let me pull out some options actually and then I will show you what we're working with. 20 minutes later. What just happened? Why does Aurora look like this? Oh no, please, 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 please. I've seen this on Twitter. Why does Aurora look like this? Oh no, please. I, I feel like I saved fairly recently. So worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna exit the game and come back in. Uh, she might still be a, a child, but that's all right. We can age her up again. Where is she? What? <gasps> I'm experiencing a glitch, like a glitch of all glitches. I'm gonna exit my game. And now she's someone completely different. <sighs> I'm really sad because I was so excited to do a cast session, but let me see if exiting the game has fixed it. And if not, I'm gonna, I don't know, we'll see. <gasps> oh my God, it worked. Oh my God, I'm so relieved. Oh my God, that was horrible. That was the first major, major glitch I've had, I think, in this, oh well, no, the restaurant. <laughs> What am I on about? Never mind. Okay, we're back. I think she is still ready to age up. Yes, okay, there you go. It's still her birthday, so I'm gonna jump into cast, age her up, pull a few outfits, and then we'll be back with an Aurora makeover. A few moments later. Oh no, oh my God, I knew it. So I pulled out some outfits. I didn't go into much detail. I just like pulled out the outfits for all the looks. And then I thought, okay, let me just go back, save, and just make sure that we're over the glitch. And we're not, this is definitely not what Aurora looked like when I left her in Cass. It's just Aurora that's glitched. I guess we're gonna end today's episode here. I'm so sad because I actually was really excited to do the cast and I have some really cute outfits that I wanted to show you. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot and figure this out. Maybe we need to add a completely new sim. It even says that she's she's already like over halfway through her teen years, which we know is not possible. She literally just had her birthday. But I hope you still have enjoyed today's episode nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching as always. Let's just all fingers crossed that I can fix this problem for next episode so we can just continue on as business as normal. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully. Bye. The next day. Oh my.
my god, we are back. And it's actually the next day. I'm not going to do a face cam because I am just sat in my office editing this video. But I wanted to give it one last shot. And I had some amazing tips from our Twitch stream last night, which basically, a little disclaimer, I think what I had was the tooth glitch with obviously which came with the new pack. And it's the interaction when your child loses a tooth and then they go into cast too quickly. It saves uh, your progress. And basically it's a randomized cast situation. So I think we might have solved the problem. I've saved my game several times now. It works if I go back into live mode. So I think we're good to go. And I'm so relieved because Aurora, I've just given Aurora a makeover and I'm so happy with how she turned out. And now we can continue on next episode as Aurora, who is a teen. She aged up as a teen. She is a renaissance sim. She is good at many things. She's a quick learner. She has the lazy trait and she is cheerful. I also was thinking of maybe making her a bit of a romantic, but because because she's not, we're not going to play too much into the storyline of being romantic. So I don't know how useful that will be. So we'll just keep her as cheerful. So I gave her some looks. I will talk you through what we have. So this is her first look. This is what she's going to be in throughout the time that she's living at home. Actually, one of the most important things that I changed was the hair color. So I think she looks absolutely beautiful with the blonde hair. There's a few different blondes that we could have gone with, but I think this golden blonde, like this warm golden blonde looks amazing. Um, and it complements the pink dresses so well. So yeah, I think we're gonna go with the storyline that she, first thing she did, she really wants to like regain some kind of independence having been trapped at home for so long. So the first thing she did was dye her hair when she was allowed to as a teen. We are then going to change her into this look. This is going to be her, her everyday outfit when she sneaks out and then finds her lover. Um, I love the hair, kind of like a modern day with the braid and I've tried to keep it all the same length. Then we have her formal wear, which which is, we've gone for mostly pink dresses, but then there's a few blue ones as well. So this is her formal wear. Love this hairstyle as well. Uh, just some little shoes. Her athletic, pink and blue. Her sleepwear, this is a blue, out her blue dress, uh, like in the movie. This is her party wear. This is like the beautiful, dramatic pink dress moment. So we're gonna have to try to find a way to get her to wear this party look, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, then we have our swimwear, which actually, I don't know where I want her to live. So maybe if you have have any suggestions of where we want Aurora to run away to and you know, settle with her partner. Let me know if you have any suggestions of what world you can see her moving into. Definitely out of San Myshuno. Then we have our hot weather look here. Love the pink dress, a little bit short. It's kind of similar to this one with the bows and love this hairstyle. And then lastly, we have her cold weather, which is just like this pink jumper dress and some boots. So that is it. Those are our Aurora looks. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm so glad that we at least ended this episode on a high. And then starting from next episode, we can continue with Aurora. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.